What is up everybody and welcome back to another Among Us video and in this video I'll be telling you about Player 119 and how he has made a return. Player 119 is a mysterious player that I'm sure you heard about before if you have been keeping up with the channel. And I have some terrible news to tell you. Player 119 has made a return and he is now stronger than ever. He now has the ability to call meetings anywhere you go. And he also has a new recently discovered form that several players have seen. So you will want to watch until the very end because you won't want to miss this. And before we get any further into this video, I do want to mention that 70% of you have not hit that subscribe button. Which means that you're missing out on Among Us Darkest Secrets. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button with all post notifications turned on. And drop a like on this video if you do enjoy. But now let's begin with my encounter with Player 119. So I encountered Player 119 on a regular match of Scaled. I have encountered him before so I was a bit shocked when I saw him in my lobby. Since it's been a while since I last saw him. Player 119 also had the same color as me. So there was two reds in the lobby. Which is something that shouldn't be possible but among us is always glitching. So that was already a red flag. I opened up the chat and player 119 said help me. Which is the same exact message that he sent me last time. So I responded with what is up player 119. Let's see if we can get his attention. He wasn't responding and I asked him are you okay? And one of my subscribers who watches my videos was in my lobby and was telling me not to help him. The match started and I was a crewmate. I left the cafeteria to go do my task but I wanted to go back into the cafeteria to make sure that player 119 was still there. Cause usually he just stands there the entire match. As I was staring at him the lights went off. Okay that is a bit creepy. I ran off to go turn on the lights and a body was reported. I asked the crewmates where was the body and they were blaming yellow. I then had the idea to tell player 119 that I did not help him last time and that I feel bad for him. A lot of players recommend that you don't talk to him because something strange will happen. But I was really curious so I wanted to find out what would happen. The meeting ended and nobody was ejected. But when we all spawned in the lights were still off. I stood right next to player 119 to make sure that he didn't leave. And I also wanted to catch him moving since he usually moves around in the dark. The lights were still off so I was really curious what was going on in electrical. And what I was about to witness was something so bizarre. Player 119 was standing in a wall. But wasn't he with me in cafeteria a few seconds ago? There is no way he made it over here this quick. As I was walking towards electrical I randomly called a meeting. But I wasn't even near the button. I opened up the chat and I said wait what? People were freaking out in the chat because they were right next to me. And they know I wasn't even near the button. Is this all happening because I wanted to help player 119? And he's now after me? I know what I'm doing is a terrible idea. But I wanted to find out what would happen next. So I typed in the chat, yeah, player 119 is safe. When we all spawned in, player 119 was just in the cafeteria. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. I was outside of electrical and most of the crewmates were there. And when I walked inside electrical to do a task, player 119 was in there. How did he manage to beat me to electrical when he was in the cafeteria? I left electrical and I did a quick task. And I wanted to return back to the electrical room to make sure that player 119 was still there. And while I was in storage, the lights went off. And I called another meeting. I let the crewmates know that I was in storage. And that I called another meeting. Player 119 said help me once again. Is this why he's calling meetings? Does he want me to help him? And why is it only me that's calling them? I wanted to continue to see what would happen so I offered my help once again. I also offered my protection. I ran out of the cafeteria and I made my way over to upper engine. And when I walked in player 119 was standing in the corner. I ran out of upper engine and walked into med bay and player 119 was standing on the entrance. But before I could run away the game ended and he won the game. But this strange encounter doesn't end there. I now joined another lobby and another player was calling someone a hacker. I also noticed that player 119 was in my lobby. So I once again asked the question what do you need help with? You are always following me and all you do is say help me. And then he responded with help me. Yeah we're not getting anywhere. When we all spawned in the entire cafeteria was under lockdown. Nobody was able to escape and player 119 was just standing there. Until he randomly teleported and started killing players. 
I tried to report the dead bodies and it wasn't letting me. And it's not like I could run away because the cafe was under lockdown. There was a bunch of bodies everywhere. And I couldn't do anything about it. I was freaking out because I've never seen anything like this before. The cafeteria was filled with bodies. As I was trying to run in circles to not get killed, player 119 started to teleport everywhere. I think I'm his next victim. I got near the bodies once again to try my best to report them, but to avoid getting Getting killed I left the lobby. That was a close one, but I was far from safe. My game began to glitch, and I randomly appeared on another match of Scaled. I then made my way over to the table that usually has a computer during free play, but why was I alone in this map? I went to medbay to look for the dummy, but nothing was in here. I checked security and nothing. I looked inside a reactor and I saw no one. It was just me alone in this empty map. While I was double checking the admin room, looking to see if anyone was in there, the lights randomly turned off. So I made my way out of the admin room and I made my way over to electrical. But while I was in storage, I heard a loud grunt and it was coming from the cafeteria. Could that be a monster? I was getting really scared because I was the only player in the match. I quickly fixed the lights on electrical and I wanted to go check what was inside the cafeteria. When I walked in, I could hear something move. And when I got closer to the noise, a huge red monster appeared. Is that player 119? Why does he look like that? So the rumors were true. Player 119 now has a new form. The lights of the cafeteria turned off and I ran as fast as I could. I tried to make my way over to the lights because I was so scared. What is he doing in my game? And what does he want from me? <laughs> As I was fixing the lights, I heard a loud scream coming from the cafeteria. Something was killed. Someone else is in my game. I slowly made my way over to the cafeteria and what I was about to witness was something so horrifying. I walked in and I saw player 119's dead body and Sairi Sora was standing right above it. Does this mean that player 119 was asking us for help and trying to warn us about Sairi Sora? What is Sairi Sora trying to do and what message is he sending us? If you would like me to add to the story, let's see if we can get this video to 25,000 likes. I do also want to give a massive shout out to Kitty King for helping me produce this video. If you would like to help out a smaller creator, make sure that you go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And I would also want to thank you guys for the recent support on the channel and if you want to see more Among Us story videos and you are yet to subscribe to the channel, make sure that you do it right now and make sure that you hit that subscribe button with the bell icon turned on. That way you get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you really like this video and want to see more stories like this, make sure that you check out one of these Among Us story videos that I found on my channel.